Good morning, Britain. Coming up on the show, 48 hours to war. Parliament will vote tomorrow on extending airstrikes against Islamic State in Syria as the Prime Minister calls for all party support. It's the right thing to do to make sure we go after the terrorists who threaten people in our country just as they attacked and killed those people on the streets of Paris. In a special investigation into drink driving, Good Morning Britain witnesses a dramatic 100 miles per hour <clears throat> police chase after a motorist fails to stop for a routine road check. This is the spot where that chase resulted in a horrendous accident and with millions of drivers set to be stopped this Christmas, new figures reveal that that second drink could double your chances of a fatal collision. Today's strike by junior doctors is called off, but thousands of operations are still cancelled. And she became the nation's hero when she confronted, <clears throat> excuse me, Lady C in the jungle. But it wasn't enough to save Yvette Fielding from an early eviction. She joins us live from Down Under in 20 minutes. Tuesday, 1st of December 2015, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. Our main news this morning is that Britain could be at war against the so-called Islamic State in Syria within days. Amid growing support from MPs, the Prime Minister will ask them to vote for or against airstrikes tomorrow. It comes after Jeremy Corbyn agreed to allow Labour Party members a free vote. Paul Brand is live at Westminster. Paul, if David Cameron wins this vote, how soon can we see airstrikes on ISIS in Syria?